in addition to working closely with physicians, we've also partnered very closely with occupational and physical therapy. And very rarely uh, does a, a patient with long COVID only need speech pathology intervention. They also typically benefit from occupational and or physical therapy. Um, I'll start by talking about OTs. OTs can help with energy maximization maximization in ways that we as SLPs cannot. So for example, when it comes to activities of daily living, um, OTs can offer practical advice such as using adaptive equipment to conserve energy. Um, they can, OTs can address physical fatigue um, in addition to cognitive fatigue. So we complement each other really well. And then another area which I've found really invaluable uh, for my own practice in cognitive therapy is OTs treat vision impairments and their vision visual changes are um, actually quite common in the long COVID population. And some of that, so I've learned, has to do with cognitive impairment, but it can also contribute to cognitive impairment. So be sure you're asking patients about their vision. And then, of course, we work closely with physical therapy, and physical therapists are going to be working a lot on um, progressive strengthening, progressive endurance training. They talk lots to folks about uh, physical pacing, and of course, they'll address any orthopedic is issues that um, might arise. Mm -hmm.